For the past year, the Gaming and Gambling Task Force has been looking into the operations of these gaming establishments on Guam. And after spending the past couple months in the courtroom, Revantax will now begin the revocation process of over 900 licenses for these gaming devices. Revantax Director Ira Logan says despite the ongoing debate between the executive branch, the AG's office, and his department, the issue was never about gambling. It was more of the issue of giving them their rights to come in and appeal before we pull their license. In Superior Court yesterday, Judge Pro Tem Robert Klitsky made the final ruling following the writ of mandate which ordered Revantax to revoke the licenses of these machines known as Liberty, Symbolic, Feral, Matchplay, and Uncle Sam. And Logan says the final decision no longer rests in the hands of his department and that they're just following the order of the court. We're going to get sued one way or the other, you know, we get sued by the AG for not uh, allowing uh, or not pulling the license or revoking the license or, or revoke the license, we get sued by the companies. Meantime, a number of local game rooms have already closed its doors and put their establishments up for rent. And while other game room owners argue that revoking their licenses would cost them thousands in income, Logan says it would cost the government millions in revenue. He adds the businesses will be receiving a letter today ordering them to cease using the gaming machines and the devices itself will soon be removed from the businesses. We have the uh, gambling task force headed by the AG and um, um, maybe they're going to come together and um, you know get GPD involved and uh, customs involved like we planned to in, in, in the first place. Nick Delgado, Pacific News Center.